Hey, this is Adam Taylor, Two Foot Giraffe. I'm going to share with you how to use uh, Google Hangouts on Air to broadcast and record your class. Uh, a new feature with Hangouts on Air is that it'll run for eight hours, so you don't have to keep stopping and starting the recording. And I'll show you how to manage that. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure you've got your G Plus, Google Plus open. Um, to get to there, if you're not familiar with Google Plus, it's a great tool and service to for social media purposes. It's like Facebook but with more control in my opinion. Um, and to get there if you're just in your Google Drive you should have a little nine box grid over here. Click on that and then click on Google Plus and it'll help you get it started. Uh, once you have it started and you've been using it it'll look something like this and to uh, start a hangout on here you click on home screen come down to hangouts <coughs> and and then uh, come over to here to Hangouts on Air, and you can see some of the different options for who you want to watch. Um, okay, and then start a Hangout on Air. Hangouts on Air is a great video conferencing tool. I'm going to close all these little buttons here. It's a great video con conferencing tool because you can have more than one person, one other person in there. You can have up to 10 total people, which is really nice. <coughs> uh, so you can have a nice discussion or whatever else um, okay so first of all you want to name it I'm gonna name mine according to the date so 1-29-14 and say lunch uh, demo and then you need to decide who you're gonna share it with and I've set up a circle to share it with and if you need to learn about circles uh, you can google that as well uh, google plus circles Anyway, uh, I've made a circle that doesn't have anybody in it, so when I share it with that, with that circle, um, see it's saved from Google+, Plus. it's kind of like a way to bookmark stuff. Anyway, when I share it with that circle, the, there's emails that go out when you start a Hangout, and whoever's in your share audience right here gets an email. So I've got it with shared with this particular one and nobody's in there but me so I'm the only one who's going to get emails so I'm not bothering everybody trying to get them to watch my class or whatever all right so after you've done that make sure you're on now you can write a description of what's going to go on if you want you can say class for today blah 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 and uh, click share all right so after you click share this will come up and this is actually a broadcast start um, I like to set it up so if parents are watching, sorry, I'm at school. If parents are watching, they can actually submit questions. So I turn on the Q&A, enabling question app, uh, and then I click start. And then you'll have a new window pop up. This is the Hangouts window. Alright, so it gives me another chance to invite more guests if I want to, but I'm going to click skip. And then here it comes loading up right here. It takes a second depending on the speed of your computer and the size of your memory on the computer. Uh, and then it'll start here in a second. You can see my awesome messy desk. Alright. Uh, while that's getting started, you have some options over here for tools you can use to help. Here's the Q&A, and here's the toolbox, and I've got the toolbox open. That's what you see over here. Okay, so I'm going to start the broadcast just for fun. <clears throat> and click OK, so now it's going to be live broadcast on YouTube. <clears throat> and come on. There it goes. Okay, so this is the toolbox, and right here I've got, uh, this is your lower third. So that's what this is right here. You can see it's backwards. And the reason I started using Google Plus or Google Hangouts on Air and is because it's easier to use and records better than Ustream and Livestream. And it costs a lot less if you want to get, you know, it's free actually. And the other two are free as well, but the service is kind of sketchy. So as you can see here, this is my name in the class and I've got it, it's uh, flipped right here um, in the middle of the screen as you can see and so what I've done even though I'm broadcasting for eight hours what I can do is come in here and change so let's see lunch demo 
And uh, so I've changed it. It hasn't changed here yet. So I just come up here and go off and then back on. And then that's what people will see if they click the link to, um, to uh, uh, see the broadcast. Sorry, got a student visiting. I'm going to talk to her in a second. And um, anyway, so I can change that at the beginning in each class. So if they ever watch the feed, then I can they'll know what class is being broadcast right then. The other good thing is that when this records, um, it'll tell me what class I'm watching. Like if I want to go back and look at something, I'll know what class I'm in. Uh, if something happened and I need to figure out what's going on or somebody got, in fact, we busted a kid yesterday stealing from my class. Um, and we had video of it because of this. So anyway, so you can change it back and forth. And then if you stop recording, uh, it automatically is uploaded and actually already broadcast live on YouTube, on your YouTube channel, which you can go check out. Um, and let's see, I'll show you that real quick here. Uh, okay, so go to YouTube, go to me. So what I've done is I've put a link on my class website, which will take them to the live broadcast, which automatically is on um, right here. So if I just click on videos, it'll take the teacher or whoever, the parent here, and there'll be a little live screen, and they can click on that and watch it live. So um, this is how I'm using, how I'm broadcasting and recording class now. Um, so hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter, Two Foot Giraffe. And uh, anyway, talk to you later.